Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from weekly contest 334. Um, the second problem is find the dis divisibility array of a string. Um, so basically here what we have is we have um, a word string of digits um, that has a length of n. And we get a positive integer m. What we want to do is create a return a divisibility array of that word um, where the value would be 1 if the prefix from the beginning to i is divisible by m and if it's not divisible then we want to set it to, to, to 0 and then we want to, at the end to return this divis divisibility array okay so for example with this word 9 is divisible by 3 so we put 1 99 so because it's the prefix from the beginning to that index 99 is divisible by 3 so we put 1 Nine nine eight no, with two it's not divisible. With four though it, uh, it's not divisible either. But with two four, this value here is divisible by uh, three. So we put one here, and you get the idea. So that's roughly the idea here. Now in terms of time complexity, n is uh, up to ten to the power of five, right? So this means we can do some of n squared, but we shouldn't need to anyway because uh, we only need the prefix up to some point, right? But if we if we use a string approach where we get the string and then convert it to an integer, then we, we, we can end up with an O of n squared, right? Because we convert the int which tra traverse the entire string to convert to an int. Um, so that would be O of n squared and that won't work. And so we need a better approach. So how, how can we do that? Um, okay, so how do we how do we do this? So as I said earlier, if we just do it with a string and each time just add and convert to an int, then that would be an open squared and that's not something we want to do. So how do we, what we are looking for is that when we have a prefix integer value, let's say when we are here, we already have a prefix of 99 and we want to add this digit here. How do we do that? Well, the, the solution usually with this is in the same way that you get a digit, you divide by 10. In the same way that you want to add a digit, you just multiply by 10. So what we can do is just take 99, multiply it by 10, and then add 8. That will give us this plus 8, which will give us this. 998, which is exactly what we want. And this is just a multiplication and an addition. So it's O of 1 operation. And so we do that O of n time. Then we have an algorithm that is just O of n time, right? So that's the idea here. Now, the other thing we want to do is that with m, for example, equal to 3, there is no need to carry the entire value, right? For the next iteration, we only need 98 modulo 3. And then from there, we will check if this value is equal to 0. And next time, what we add is going to be smaller, making our operation also easier. Um, so each time, we can just modulo m, what we the, the prefix, so because we only need to find whether modulo 3 is equal to 0 or not, right? Um, so let's say you have m equal to uh, 3 and your prefix is um, 4, right? We only need to pick to keep 1, right? Because that will all already tell us that it's not divisible by 3. And in the next iteration, when we let's say we have the digit 2, then we would end up with 12. We only need to keep modulo 3, which would be um, so that's modulo 3 equal to 0, and that's the only value we need because that will tell us if it's divisible or not. And that will make the second iteration just, uh, if in the second iteration we have, let's say, 5, we'll just again check against 5 modulo 3, which is 2. And so we'll check this, and this would be, um, this would be not divisible, right? Um, and so that's, that's the idea here, is both the mod to keep the value small, and then the other thing is the O of 1 operation to calculate the prefix. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now let's implement it and make sure it passes. Um, okay, so now let's implement the solution we just saw in the over overview. So what we need is we need to keep a running prefix value, so that's 0. And then we need um, what we want to return at the end, which is the divisibility array. And so this is going to be the length of the word. And so let's just keep track of that length of word. Let's call it n. And now we just go for every digit in word, right? And so we can just get it by the index. Um, and then we can just calculate the prefix in the way we mentioned earlier, which is we just need to multiply the previous value by 10 and then add the current digit, which is just word i, 
but since it's a character we will need to convert it to an int like this um so we get the prefix and this is just we add the digit um we also need to um we also need to mod it right and so what we can do is mod both here and then mod it here as well and that um and then we can mod the entire thing um you could also choose to just mod the two um that should work fine um like this um and then what we need to do is um check if it's divisible by m so that would be whether it's equal to zero and then if it is we want to set it to one but if not we can just keep zero and then at the end we want to return um the div er divisibility array okay um and that should be it except here we need this to be a working syntax so let's run it and let's submit and this passes test cases um in terms of time complexity we have this loop which is o of n um, and then we have, and then we have, um, uh, in terms of space, we have this array which takes O of n as well. So we have O of n time and O of n space. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Pretty short, straightforward. The only thing is, uh, in terms of uh, to be able to fit the um, the running time, you need you need to not convert to a, an integer each time. You need something like this so that the adding to the prefix is of one um yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem please like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye